Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. One of the most anticipated models in the recent time is stable diffusion. A lot of people were looking for stable diffusion because stable diffusion is one of the closest models that came closer to DALI. DALI made a huge buzz, media articles covered it, marketing. I mean, like everybody wanted to get hands on with DALI and that was not possible. And then, you know, you got mid journey and a lot of other open source models, especially diffusion based models. And then the latest one in that is stable diffusion and stable diffusion really, really rocked the ecosystem with, um, with their transparency, uh, the way they opened about it. And they also made a commitment and that it'll be an open source project and uh, living up to the commitment today, the model has been officially released public release. Like anybody can, um, anybody in the world can download the model and use it. There are a lot of details in it. One main thing is like, for example, you need to accept the model's terms of service before you start using it. I think there are certain concerns around creating deep fake and all those things. And also the community, um, like the, the stable diffusion community has got a lot of criticism from the EA art community or, you know, digital art community. So, so I think this is, um, this is, this is a very pivotal moment, I would say in the world of open source and humanity like integration in, in, at the intersection of open source and humanity but we are not talk, we are not here to talk about philosophy we are, uh, i mean like we can do it at a separate time but uh, certain things for you to keep in mind if you want to use this model you need to first accept the terms of service and then it comes with a new license called creative ml open rail m license and also there is a classifier at the end which is always looking for uh, um, not so safe images so if you have got a NS not safe for work images, then it's going to, it's going to scrap that image and then it's going to show you empty and, um, and let's, let's get started. Like I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. So the notebook that I'm going to use Google Collab notebook is not my own notebook. Thanks to the super amazing hugging face team. Um, this was shared by Omar. I don't know who created this, but yeah, thanks. Thanks. Uh, hugging face team and Omar for giving me this notebook or sharing this notebook, which I'm going to give you a walkthrough of. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm doing. So the first step for us is first thing is, let me close this. Oops, open a, so a lot of announcements, open a got a new pricing here today. So the first step is you can, you have to go here and you have to accept the terms that uh, you have here. So first, first step is for you to get access to the model, you have to accept that terms of service like um, let's let's see what are the terms of service but I would say that the first step for you to do is um, go accept the terms of service let me take you there um, before we go there make sure that you are logged in with your hugging face um, model hub so that's the first thing next thing you can go to the the hugging face diffusers repo so diffuser is a latest library from hugging face for diffusion based models and we have got a stable diffusion pipeline there. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go here, this particular page, and it says you need to share your contact for information to access this model. Um, this is publicly accessible, but still you need to register. Um, it's just one click because I've already registered with hugging face. It's completely fine. But if you do not have, you need to make sure that you have a hugging face account. So one step before getting the model, the model is open and available to all, but it has a license called creative ML open rail license. And, um, by clicking on access repository, you accept that you are ready to give the contact information. I think this is, this is for the legal details summary of creative open, um, rail license. I think I absolutely love that summary has somebody has decided to put a summary of license. I mean, who reads license documents? You can't use a model to deliberately produce or not share illegal or harmful output. I think, that might include deep fake and, um, and I, I mean like anything in NSFW. We claim no rights on the output you generate. You are free to use them and are accountable for their use, which should not go against the provisions set in the license. You may redistribute the weights and use the model commercially. That's, that's quite a bold statement. You can use this model commercially as a service. If you do, please be aware you have to include the same restrictions as the ones in the license and share a copy of creative ML license to all the users. Please read the license entirely carefully. So you can, you can complete, you can go ahead and read about the creative rail license. And if you want, you can read about the creative rail license. I'm not going to get into the details of it, but 
um, like for those who are watching this video, please do not do anything stupid. Um, the community, the especially the stable diffusion community has put a trust on us. Let's, uh, let's live up to it. And I am so pumped up to click this and then say access repository. Great. So at this point, I think Hugging Face must have got access to my um, contact information. Now that we have done this, let's go to the Google Collab Notebook. Um, I would link the Google Collab Notebook in the YouTube description. So the first step to access the model is go accept the model, which we just did. The next step is go to the Google Collab Notebook, go to runtime, change runtime, make sure that you have GPU. Cool, we have GPU. Then the next step is we need to check the machine that we have got. Um, it says it might access code and all those things because we have to log in with the hugging face. That's fine. So what is the machine we have got? We've got a Tesla T14, T, sorry, T4 machine. I'm not very confident if um, if we can use it with this machine, but let's let's give a try because this is a machine mostly people would get. A quick description about what is stable diffusion. Stable diffusion is a text to image latent diffusion model and it has been created by a bunch of um, open source community. Um, I think one of them is like stability A, which is which which is what uh, Imad Mustak uh, was um, leading, I think. It's trained on 512 by 512 images on a subset of um, LA, IO, and Lion dataset. What is this? It's a new era of open source large scale multimodal dataset. And uh, we present a dataset of 5.85 billion clip filtered image text pairs. 14x bigger than the previous one. Um, quality is better. Good. It's a good image data set. The model uses a frozen clip width vision uh, transformer a large um, text encoder to condition the model on text prompts and with its uh, 860 million unit and 123 million text encoder, the model is relatively lightweight and runs on GPU with at least 10 GB of VRAM. So let's, let's see how it works. Okay, now that we have learned basic information about the model, um, and we know about what is the GPU that we have got. And I think the memory is about 16 GB. So let's let's go and install all the required libraries. Um, I should have done it a quiet mode, but that's okay. Transformer, SciPy, um, FTFY, Diffuses is the main one that we're going to use. I think IPy, IPy widgets, um, the recent development in Collab is used here for interactivity. So let it all install. So. The next step is before you can use it, you need to accept the model license, which we have already done, which we have already done. So which means we have to click here and then go and then say accept it, which we have already done. Okay. So the next step is we are going to enable um, widget manager. And then the next thing is we are going to log in, like we are going to um, make sure that this notebook, a uh, Google Collab notebook can access um, or uh, Accessor hugging face model up. So login, we need, oh, we need to copy a token from this token page and paste it below and immediately click login. So click this, copy the token. Where is the token? Uh, is this the token? User access token. Okay, I need to copy this token. Wait, copy a token from you, paste it below. Immediately login after copying. Okay. Cool. If you do not have already, you, you, you can create a dedicated notebooks token with right access. Okay, new token. What is this token for notebooks? Right, generate a token. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to click login. It says login successful. So which means what I've tried to do uh, worked out. So the next thing is we need to, um, I'm not getting into the details of the model, which you can definitely read. This is a very comprehensive collab notebook. I think I've already explained a lot of things, uh, which not a lot of people would be interested in, but um, stable diffusion pipeline is an end-to-end -end inference pipeline that you can use to generate images from text just with a few lines of Python code. So first thing is like, we need to download the pre-trained weights of all the components, and then we can go forward. So the first step is, we are going to load torch uh, from diffusers, import stable diffusion pipeline and uh, make sure that you have already logged in and then select the model and then say you, you need to make sure that you say use authentication token because authorize authorization token. Let's see if it uh, successfully manages to download the model weights. Good. And <laughs> I, 
I'm I'm equally um, honestly excited because I've seen what stable diffusion can do, and I've seen like how people were mad about Dali, and uh, to know that you know you've got a Dali Dali quality or a Dali equivalent model available as an open source model, uh, completely created by community, available for you to use it on Google Collab. I think that is super super exciting. Um, but yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves um, with before we manage to download the model. So once we download the model, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, move everything to GPU CUDA because we've got a GPU. And then next thing is simple. So we're going to give a prompt and then we are going to generate an image and we're going to display the image finally. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's see. Uh, let's see first if you're going to hit memory error. Um, fingers crossed. Okay, you can see the memory shooting up. You can you can actually see the memory shooting up. There's a little bit here. You can see GPU memory still the same. Is it still downloading anything? Oh, completed. Good, thank God. Um, that's good. So the next thing is we are going to move everything to CUDA, which means the GPU memory might shoot up at this point. Okay, that's good. Pipe to CUDA. The next thing is we can give a prompt and then we can um, we can make changes like we can run it. So let's start with the default image uh, or maybe you know you have already seen the default image. I want I um, I really like the prompt. Um, I don't know if I can find that image that I was using it. Um, it was a it was a a sweet a house full of chocolates. I really wanted to get that. Um, let me see if I have got that image. I absolutely like that image. Yeah, this one, this one. I've got the prompt. Let me check if that works. Um, I absolutely like that image. Um, I can I can tell you like how much I liked it. Uh, so let's uh, let's see. Sweet girl. Okay, let me run this. So from Torch import autocast, then you have got the prompt, the actual prompt that you want to give, which I've copied from uh, what I tried in the original stable diffusion with autocast CUDA uh, image pipe of prompt and then sample of zero. So you can you can read about more about uh, the pillow image format and then finally you save the image and then you can display the image. Let's run it. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, I don't have uh, intention to edit this video so what you are actually seeing could be um, most likely real time um, so far it has taken 12 seconds 15 seconds 40 I think it's, it's oh <laughs> this is I mean this is honestly beautiful like uh, this is on Google collab imagine like a Tesla T4 machine and uh, this is absolutely brilliant I can say so what I'm going to do now is I want to I want to save this prompt instead of okay I can give it every time I want and um, you can you can run this every different every time differently uh, so that you will get a different image like for example if I run this again um, that's why if you if you're part of stable diffusion beta you would know that you are uh, giving a seed value for you to reproduce it um, but if you don't if you don't have a seed value then uh, you would get a different image in the next section, we would see how um, you can generate uh, like uh, a seed value. Um, this is amazing. So if you want to manually give a seed value, then you have got the code. You have got, if you want like multiple images, like for example, instead of one image, you want like multiple images, then you can use this to generate multiple images. Like for example, um, you want six images. Um, you can you can go ahead. I'm not going to get into the code, uh, but you have all the code available here. For example, I can go here and then give the same thing and then I can run this. It's going to take a little bit of time. You would see because um, we are ideally generating three by four, um, three columns. Why did I say three by four? Four by three, four rows and three columns. And uh, it's it is ideally supposed to take time. But um, just quickly going over uh, the rest of the code bases. If you want to generate non-square images, sometimes, you know, if you want a wallpaper, um, if you want a YouTube thumbnail, a lot of things are not square images. I mean, the world is not Instagram. So 
um, you might want uh, like wide images um, in that case you can actually say the height and width the details that will give you that will give you non square images and you have a bunch of more technical details about what is happening here I'm not getting into any of those things but what I wanted to tell you is if you are interested in exploring uh, more details of this particular um, state stable diffusion with the diffusers please let me know in the comment section so i can i can definitely share those share those details um, uh, or i can i can make a new video like getting into the technical details of stable diffusion which the team has already put together a very nice blog post like if you see omar's tweet you've got a you've got a nice blog post but the point here is not not to explain the technicalities of it but you know like the different parameters and how do you generate better images and those kind of things um i'm not going to run i'm not going to wait uh, make you wait until this is run but you can actually already see that this is getting generated and we managed to successfully generate a very beautiful image using um, stable diffusion and uh, and i i think that is absolutely brilliant um once this image is completely finished i would uh, share it in the I, I think you'll most likely get to see on the video but um, otherwise uh, just to quickly recap uh, first thing huge shout out to the stable diffusion team also huge shout out to hugging face team to trying to responsibly share this model um, with uh, the creative um, open rail license if I'm not wrong what is the license name rail yeah uh, creative ml open rail license so the first step is you need to accept the accept the license uh, terms of service uh, read through it and just make sure that you are not going to violate it um just just to again reiterate community has put a trust on you so we should we should be fair to it so like second once you accept it the next thing is you need to make sure okay before you accept it even to make sure you have a hugging face account accept it after you do that uh, i will link the image grid is not are you kidding me where is image grid coming from oh my goodness Ooh, this is beautiful um uh, this face looks a little zombie-ish um it's okay this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful um this is beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful uh, this is a little lonely um this is beautiful so yeah um quick quick recap first accept the accept the terms of service second come to the google collab and uh, install uh, make sure that you have got gpu runtime third install all the libraries like check the machine first of all if you've got the right gpu machine and uh, then come here and then make notebook login when you do this thing it's going to ask you to um, copy the token if you do not have token just create a token for notebook and copy the token and paste it here and then once your uh, login is successful then of course the rest is um, thanks to the hugging face team you have got everything set up you are at safe hands in case if um, your uh, login is not successful or uh, like if your model is not downloading weights, this um, it's stable diffusion pipeline, it's highly likely that either you didn't accept the terms of services or you didn't um, you didn't log in properly. But um, in my case, as you saw, it worked perfectly fine. And I'm going to leave you all with this beautiful pictures that I generated. You know, like I own the rights. I can do anything with this. So that, uh, that further excites me. It's not like I'm going to sell it now but it excites me. So if you are part of this excitement, uh, please give a shout out to Stable Diffusion team, Stability AI team, and also Hugging Face team. But otherwise, I hope this video was helpful to you in running your first Stable Diffusion model. This is this is absolutely a pivotal moment, I would say, uh, in terms of intersection of human humanity and uh, deep learning, um, or machine learning, artificial intelligence, whatever you would like to call it. Um, let me know your comments let me know what you think um, any other question let me know in the comment section otherwise take care stay safe peace